What's up, my beautiful Sagittarians? Trust your intuition for divinely guiding you to this particular full moon in Aries reading. The full moon in Aries is happening September 29th. So this reading is covering the 29th through the 1st, October 1st. So let's see what's going on for you. Full moon energy is all about reveals, exposures, things being highlighted, illuminated. And then Aries energy being the first sign is all about the child. It's all about the self. It can be about new beginnings. So I definitely feel like you might be expanding into new territory, new beginnings. It could even be about letting out your inner child. This could be about, you know, you're going on vacation in a new direction and something new is manifesting. I mean, that could be the new manifestation in and of itself. But let's see what's happening for you, Sagittarius, with the full moon in Aries. Aware, scared woman. All right. Give me more for Sagittarius with the full moon in Aries. Exhaustion, frustrated man. This feels like it's kind of going hand in hand. Sag energy for the full moon in Aries. And change environment. Okay, yeah. Frustration, feeling scared, feeling exhausted definitely means you need to change your environment, Sag. So I feel like I'm just reiterating what you already know. This feels like if this is you and a partner or you and someone you live with or you and someone you go to work with and it's just like this anxious, like icky, very low vibrational feeling energy, something has to change, right? You are a mutable sign, which means you are the sign of adaptation or a sign of adaptation. So I just want to show you on the bottom, we have expectation and separation. So I do feel like there's something about getting rid of this energy that is depleting your energy. This could even be a family member. Toxic family members exist. So that could be what's going on, Sag. But let's get more through the tarot. All right. Tell me more for Sag for the full moon in Aries. We have death. Yes. Closures, endings. This feels like there's an end of a cycle happening here. Give me more for Sagittarius. Death also signifies major changes, major transformation. So I do sense that, I mean, for some of you, this could be your work. Maybe you're going to be moving out of your parents' home or, you know, moving away from a significant other that you've been living with. Yeah, three of wands. It's like you're building your roots somewhere or putting down your roots somewhere. Getting the lay of the land. That's all about... <sighs> I kind of want to say new beginnings, but it's about building, establishing. And the bottom of the deck is the fool in reverse. So this is something you've been avoiding for a while. It's almost like you've been trying to run away from it. All right, more for Sag with the full moon in Aries. What does Sag need to see about the full moon in Aries? What's happening with this move, with this change in environment? I mean, this could be where you live, too. Maybe you're relocating. We have illness, disease, weakness, fragility, and they're guiding my eyes towards disease to dis-ease. I feel like this is, it's almost like you need to change your environment. Otherwise, this is what it's going to lead to. It's going to lead to illness. It's going to lead to you, you know, low vibrations and not feeling good leads to that energy materializing. So there could be something about your health potentially being not so wonderful because of who you're allowing in your space or the energy you're allowing in your field. So there's something about switching it up to look out for yourself. I feel like this is a very important move for your health and well-being, Sag. All right, give me more for Sag. What is it that Sag needs to see? Full moon and Aries. I, look at this self-love I can't even make this up 43 breaks down to a seven which is all about higher vibrations self-concern self-healing independence Sag I feel like there's a lot about healing in here and going your own way and in order to heal you have to go your own way 
I was hoping that was the one I was feeling. So this is the giraffe. This is about seeing from a higher perspective, right? In the moment, you might be like, I can't quit my job. I'm going to lose so much money or I can't can't end this relationship. I've put so much into it. Whatever this big change is, I feel like you're scared because you're thinking about the logic of it. But see from a higher perspective. That's what I get with this tall ass giraffe. Seeing from another bigger perspective because in the long run it's going to be so much more beneficial monetarily you know financially in terms of love in terms of your of your own health and self-care for you to move on from this now and change your environment so that's what i'm getting from this i hope this resonated sad if you're interested in a personal reading, head on over to themoonempress.com. I just want to show you the bottom of this Dex's origin. So this is definitely about setting new seeds, planting new roots. But yeah, I hope this resonated and I will talk to you later, Sag. Goodbye.